<laughs> well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Liquor Review, Booze Review, however you want to say it. Yes. We have the man child, we have the honey monster, and we have the rhino, and we have this here bottle of beer. Oh, bottle of beer. Bottle of, beer. Bottle of rye that was sent to us by Sage. So, thank you very much, Sage. This wow, is Canadian nice. Club Classic 12 Year. So, it's the new Canada Club stuff. They have this, they have the. Uh, 10 year they have uh, another 18, one don't they yeah, yeah they so they have a whole bunch of different bottles now so this is the 12 year the classic he said this is his favorite go-to whiskey right now really not not an amazing whiskey but his but you know, like cheap, a bar budget. drinker when you want to get drunk yeah it's uh what is it it's like 20 well 18 to 20 dollars for a, a 26er this bottle no it's got to be more than that no 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 it's, no it's that this bottle cost me 33 that's a 26er. That's a 40. No, this is 1.14. That's a 40? Yeah. Oh, really? What am I talking about? I don't know. I usually buy booze that's expensive, so. Glug's nice. There you go. Gluggy, gluggy, gluggy. Glug, 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 glug. I'm not going to take a whole shot just because I've been drinking a lot tonight. <laughs> Coward. Well, I do have kidney stones at the moment. Well, that means so you should drink more. Mm, smells like whiskey. So he was talking about doing a, you know, a drop of water and letting it sit for like 15 minutes. You know what? That's not how I drink my whiskey. No, you just pound it. I drink it straight up. Yeah, pound it. Yeah, yeah I drink it with ice. Like, basically, that's it. You know, that would be the same thing as adding water to it. But yeah. I mean, so it looks nice. But Smell, really you, get, you, get some, you get some oak, you get a little bit of vanilla, you get a little bit of caramel. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't smell like horrible whiskey. No, no. We've had horrible Is whiskey. Is it a blended? Mm -hmm. No. 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 It'll be, get a little bit of rye. Yeah, it's just a normal rye whiskey. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad. No. Um, Canadian Club is like the poor man's whiskey too in Canada. Well, yeah, yeah, if you want to get rye in the States, it's CC and Coke. Like, it's not, yeah, like, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of CC, but I'm not necessarily opposed to it. I'm kind of interested to see how it ages. It's like aging a bottle of Prince Igor. Why oh, like that bottle right there? <laughs> oh, God. That we still have to review at some point? <laughs> you guys ready? fuck. Let's try it. It's got to burn, eh? I do that with every booze. Yeah. You know what? It's pretty good. For the price point, it's amazing. Really? It's pretty smooth. It's smooth. You get caramel. You get vanilla. Yeah, get a really nice vanilla finish. Yeah, a real nice yeah, vanilla finish. Yeah, real nice. I am this very is, impressed with that. This yeah. is actually really complex for the price point. Yeah. I mean, this is this is low end price point, mm -hmm. and it's complex. Oh, do me mm -hmm. a tiny one, thing? Like I don't know, like it's 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 very good, but Same like glass wine. the vanilla yeah. finish is good. I find a lot of the other flavors, um, it's it's very nice and smooth, which is which is good, um, but at the same time. I know about the other the other flavors necessarily come out oh, you're as a lot well. Of alcohol there. Oh yeah, it, it's warming. It yeah. is a very well, warming once you, thing. Once you drink it though, you, you don't really get the same alcohol burn. Like no. it, it really That's disappears. That's smooth for CZ. No. Yeah. That's what we've all said now. All four of us have yeah. said it's smooth. Yes. I dig this shit. Yeah, it you get a lot of vanilla, so and vanilla is the point? flavor I'm Definitely. getting the most of. Yeah. Um, I'm getting a little bit of a toffee. I, I want to say caramel, but I think it's more toffee, toffee. than yeah, caramel. Yeah, I think it's more toffee as well. It's 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 decent though. I'm not gonna say it's it's super great. But no, but remember again, if this was like is, a thirty six dollar yeah. bottle. Yeah, and it, it's it's Canadian Club, right? What do you, what do you want? Really, you're basically drinking the Budweiser it, Canadian. It's whiskey. bar right. Yeah, it's bar right. It's well, it's, it's five star. Yeah. However, this is this is like their step up from their bar right because the, yeah. the ten year is their bar yeah. right. Like their their house rye, yeah. Um, out of ten, I would give this a seven seven five. I would buy it again. It's not to the point where I would go actively looking for it, but if I was out of rye and I needed a cheap bottle of rye that tasted good, this is what I'd pick up probably. I'd give it an eight. Um, it's not dethroning my favorite rye whiskeys, right? Like I, I still go, will go for the Forty Creek. I just Forty Creek is from, it? Yeah. awesome. I'm a huge fan. It's, just yeah. so, it's so good. Like yeah. it's like wow. And but, the price point's amazing. But, but this stuff is still really good. Um, way better than it's better than Canadian Club, like what it normally is. Yeah, so. it, it, it it's better than Wisers in my opinion. It's better yeah, I agree. Than, oh, yeah. the new Wisers is horrible. Yeah, I give it uh, honestly. I'd probably give it a six point five. It's good. It's it's definitely drinkable. Um, 
Would I drink this over any any other whiskey? Probably not. Yeah, it hasn't dethroned my microphone. Yeah, it's not like it's not. I'm not a huge fan of it. But if somebody had this and was offering it to me, I'd, I'd drink it. Yeah, you don't mind when your friends mix this with Coke either. Yeah, no, you know, it's, it's it's yeah. you know, you're not talking. It's gonna go you're and not honestly, talking I think. And... I think over ice, yeah, over ice. I think is a way. To over drink ice, it would sure. be amazing. Chilled even would in, be really even nice. in Coke, it would probably be good. I mean, you'd probably get it. Like, remember the old vanilla Coke? I hate running Coke. See, I wouldn't mind no, that. See, I don't. I don't, like, I don't like much. I don't like. I don't normally like Ryan Coke. I do. Especially after Chris Adams gave me alcohol poisoning with it. But, <laughs> that'll do it. But this has such a vanilla and a toffee flavor that it would probably come out as a vanilla Coke almost. It, it, Especially it if you might. had Chris Adams mixing it for you. That'd be yeah, good with the root beer, yeah. too. It, it might, yeah. A the little axle with root beer. I think if you did a splash, you might do a splash for color, but that's about it. The Nickelbrook ginger. Like Nickelbrook yeah, ginger. maybe the Ryan Nickelbrook ginger, ginger with the Nickelbrook ginger. Would be excellent. So you're using this to cut the, the, yes. cut the ginger Would be excellent. Yeah. yeah, actually, that wouldn't be bad. Actually. Especially with the Nickelbrook. It'd probably be good. Yeah. Yeah. Even like, like we, we do, we do the beer alchemy and stuff. Really, we should pull the stuff together to do premium, like, like. Well, no, I, I'm going to end up doing, well, we've done a couple cocktails and stuff. And yeah, but shooters. premium cocktail, right? Where you get yeah. the Nickelbrook ginger with, yeah. with this, you know, or. or like, like a, f like a really good soda. Well, guys, yeah. th for those of you that watch this, do you want us to do some premium cocktails mixing with different types of pops and everything? What, what we tell hope us. to be good anyways. Yeah, we, yeah. We, well, you don't know if they're going to be good, but we can tell you what we think of them. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you, Sage. Canada Club Classic 12. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> Signing an entire bottle of liquor. That's fucking, that's phenomenal.